Hey everyone, today I wanna to talk about colors within Procreate. There are a lot of really cool features within Procreate to help you pick your colors and build your palette, so follow along. If you don't know already, the color up here in the top right hand corner, that color that is showing is the color that you have selected, and if you were to draw with it, that's the color that's gonna come out of your brush. If you click that circle, it will open up the palette menu. First, I wanna show you how to color match, and then I'll get into the palette menu. So say you're working on this piece, and you want to use this specific blue over here, but you accidentally deleted it from your palette. All you have to do is press and hold and hover over the color that you would like to select. As you can see, the top half of the circle is the color that you're going to select, and the bottom half of the circle is the color that you already have selected up here. So we're over our blue, we let go, and as you can see, our color has turned to blue. This only works with your finger, it doesn't work with your Apple Pencil. Moving back up to the palette menu, if you hold down the circle with the color in it, it will switch you back and forth between your last two used colors, so that's super useful and a time saver instead of opening this up, selecting a color, and then going back. So once you open up the palette menu, there's five different tabs down here that we're gonna use. Disc, Classic, Harmony, Value, and Palettes. We'll start with the disc. By dragging around this bubble, you you can select what color you want on the outside of the disc, and on the inside of the disc, you're able to pick what shade of the color that you want. All the way from black up through the color and then ending at white. You can also get your gray shades over here on this side. Below the disc is your history bar. If you set a color and then close the palette menu and then open it back up, it will show up in your history. So say we pick this purple-ish blue and we close it, we open it back up and there it is in your history. You can also clear your history just by pressing clear. And below this is your palette. You can set a custom palette to show up here every single time by default. I will show you how to do that when we get over to the palettes tab. If you wanna add a color to your palette from the disc tab or any of these other tabs down here, all you have to do is select the color that you want up here on the disc and then hold down on one of these little blocks down here and then click set current color. If you wanna delete it, you press and hold again and then say delete swatch. Now moving over to the classic tab. This is just another simple way of selecting colors, but instead of the disc, you have these sliders here that you're able to use. And then the same over here as well in the classic tab, you have your history and your palette. Next, we're gonna move over to the harmony tab right here. I use this tab a lot. This tab will help you pick some colors that will go together depending on what method you pick. So up here in the left-hand corner, right below colors, if you click there, there are five different methods that Procreate will help you pick colors. So let's click on one and you can see the bubbles move around. And as you change the color that you want, it'll give you a couple different selections based on the method that you picked. And then right below that, there is a slider to control the brightness of the colors and then also your history and your palette once again. The next palette over is value. And truthfully, this is probably the third time I've ever clicked on this tab. This is if you're working on a project and you need to color match exact colors. Each one of these sliders show a numeric value depending on what color you select it. I never mess with this. Lastly is the palettes tab. This is where you can do some really cool stuff by importing palettes. Here in the top right corner, you can press the plus button and you have a choice from creating a new palette, create a new palette from your camera, from a file, or a photo. So let's start off with the first one by creating a new palette. This will just open a blank palette. And since there's a little blue check mark next to it, this will show up as the default. So if you wanna change the default palette that you have on all of your tabs, you can go to these three little dots in the corner and click set as default. Now ascend will be the default palette in each one of these tabs. Next, if we go back up to the plus sign, you can create a palette from your camera. This is super awesome. You can take a photo with Procreate and then Procreate will do its best to color match that photo and break it down into a palette for you. You can also do this from a file and then also from a photo in your camera. Roll. Now there's one more way to import a palette into Procreate and that's with a parallel screen. Over here's Google, over here's Procreate. All you have to do is press and hold on the photo and then you can bring it right over here and drop it into Procreate. And as you can see, Procreate made a palette out of the color palette they used. So now if you want to share your palette with your friends, you can go over here to the three little dots in the top right hand corner. You can either set as default, you can share your palette, you could duplicate it or you could delete it. All right, now the last thing I'm gonna show you is if you come up here in the car tab, you can click on that, and it'll just show you a larger preview of the color along with the color's name. So they're just two views of how you can look at your palettes. So that's it for me. I think Procreate has done a really great job with all the easy to use tools to help us pick colors. If you want to see me explain something specific within Procreate, please leave a suggestion down in the comments. If not, I hope this video was helpful to you, and I hope that you have a good day.